experience that occurs to me at this particular point of time is in the year 1993 we you know when my son was completing 10th class here we all thought of going to tirupati we all uh, went to tirupati in a uh, rtc bus here from here to tirupati and uh, there uh, we went up and then we performed uh, actually kalyanam of lord balaji there and then we stayed there for two three days and then we came down and then uh, tirupati uh, we went to you know two three temples you know srinivas mangapuram alveer mangapuram those temples and at that time you know actually speaking our uh, we did not have so much of money you know to uh, have to stay in the luxurious hotels and things like that we had minimum money and then we said uh, since we cannot take a hotel uh, accommodation and stay there we said we will put our luggage in the what is called cloak room in the rtc bus stand and we'll go around temples and then in a night time we'll board the bus and we will go back then we went to one of the temples i think that was very busy time some festival time and uh, almost about 50000 devotees are there in the temple there was a very long queue and then we we decided to stand in the queue and you know the lots of uh, you know that all those arrangement barricades and everything was there and then we were standing in one of the rows queues and my children were very small my daughter was about one year uh, first standard and my son was about third standard or uh, fifth standard maybe and then they said that we we will not be able to stand in the queue and they were saying no no let's go home this is boring we, we don't want and they were saying like this and i tried to educate them and i failed uh, i tried for some time they said no 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 we cannot stand this is too much and we came from one temple down to another temple down and here also the same queue is there and uh, i cannot we cannot stand and then finally what we did was there was a rope and we lifted the rope and uh, somehow from underneath the rope we escaped and we came out and then what to do where to go almost 4 to 5 hours time is there where we can stay we can't stay in a hotel because we don't have money and then you know what we should do then we said okay let us go to a cinema hall go and sit there so that you know we we will we'll have some space we will sit for 3 4 hours and then you know we will come out and we will board the bus and come back we went to the cinema hall purchased tickets but somehow as uh, god will will it there was power failure and those days generators were not there and then the the, the picture which was supposed to come in at 1:30 or 2 o'clock came in at 4:30 2 hours we had to stand outside we, st- we stood only in the hot sun and we bore all the heat of the sun everything and along with the children children were also again rubbing and we went into the picture hall the picture was very boring and you know my my children did not really like pictures and they said again wow this picture is boring let's go out we came out and then we came somehow and then we had uh, dinner somewhere and then we boarded the bus we came back next day swabi was giving a discourse there was some occasion here i think that was something like uh, dasara uh, the, the dasara uh, swami's discourses and swami was giving a discourse the discourse swami see casually how he, he refers to all these things Swami said, "See, my people who say they are devotees, they go and they don't have patience to stand in the temple queue, but they don't mind going to a picture hall. And you know, the rope, they will lift the rope and try to escape from the temple queue, and they don't mind sitting in the picture, the say, say, cinema queue, and they have to stand in the cinema hall for two hours in the hot sun. Manchu par hindi." Swami said, "Good, good thing has happened to them. They must have learned a lesson." And then Swami said, "If you don't have patience before God, this kind of things will happen to you." This is how actually Swami really taught us so many lessons. Then you know that was the very, very, very hard lesson. Then I realized, hereafter, hereafter, even my children are used to. T- you know about Swami. If you 
if you actually defy swami and if you disregard swami's instructions this will be the experience of